Hey everyone, we are back with another DIY compilation video. Today we have four easy, beautiful Christmas DIYs that you can do today. So we're gonna start off with our fake snow and we're gonna go ahead and take this cup that we bought from Dollar Tree. Also, the snow we bought from Hobby Lobby, it was only a dollar something. And we're gonna go ahead and pour the snow into the cup take our little miniature trees that we bought at Dollar Tree, stick those into the cup, and then we're gonna add some stickers on the outside to decorate it all, and it is gonna look beautiful, and it is simple. And there is another idea that you can try with these trees, is that you can actually make a little village. Have you ever walked into the stores, looked at the shelves, and just saw a beautiful little display of uh, a village, a Christmas village, and <laughs> little mini figurines. So you can actually do that because Dollar Tree has little mini figurines. Uh, little trees, little people, little snowmen. So you can take that and recreate that in your own home so that there's an idea for you right there. But anyway, you guys, uh, go ahead and make this your own, have fun with it, and I'll see you when we get to DIY number two. All right, everyone, we are on to DIY number two, three-tier tray. And if you've been following Creating with Miss Nancy for a while, then you will know that we have done a couple of DIYs on tiered trays. So we have a variation of them in our home, and some of our friends have them in their home because we have given them away. You know how it is when you're a crafter. You can't keep everything that you craft. I mean, unless you want to. I mean, unless you have like a really, 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 really massive storage space then go ahead pop off <laughs> but anyway um here we have this beautiful buffalo chuck plate which we bought at dollar tree i know right it's unbelievable i know and we also bought these candlesticks at dollar tree they don't look cheap at all you guys they're beautiful and they're a dollar Somebody say hallelujah for the ones in the back. Come on and say it. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to go ahead and take this plate. I bet you already know where we bought it, so I'm not even going to tell you. Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay. And all we're going to do, as you can see here, is glue with these candlesticks. Glue the candlesticks, and of course, we're going to find the center of the plate, which is really easy to do. I mean, you just kind of eyeball it, and that's what, exactly what Miss Nancy did, so... Um, all of these beautiful plates we bought at Dollar Tree, every single one, and we're just going to go ahead and make that beautiful tier, uh, three tier tray. I do want to say, you can see us here using a hot glue gun, but you are supposed to use E6000 glue because that is going to secure it, and that's if you don't want your stuff to fall apart, you know? Um, but as a crafter, just use what you have on hand, and if our plate falls off, I'll just glue it back. <laughs> But uh, yes, remember, E6000 glue, everyone. But isn't this beautiful? This is the end. Honestly, I don't know what's more beautiful, the tear tray or the dessert that's on it. <laughs> I don't really know. But either way, I am loving this, and I hope you guys love it too. You don't have to use the black plates like us or buffalo check, but you can go ahead and use red and green and just make it so, you know, Christmassy and fun. Uh, or you can use the colors we did and just add some bright ornaments, really. It is completely up to you what you want to do. All right, now we are on to DIY number three, and I like to call this one the yarn tree. I know, it's very original. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, we bought the beautiful yarn at Hobby Lobby. And also we bought these, uh, this styrofoam, you can see me, well not me, unraveling. Uh, we bought that at Hobby Lobby as well. And featuring the candlestick from Dollar Tree. And by the way, just in case you are new to the Creating with Miss Nancy family, 
Miss Nancy is the one who is crafting. So the beautiful hands with the nice white nail polish and the nice ring. Yeah, that's Miss Nancy. That is my mom. And I am Victoria, and I am just the one who does the voiceover. Yep. So we're kind of in this together, crafting. <laughs> so if you hear me say we or, you know, Miss Nancy and stuff, I just wanted to clarify that. It is because it is my mom and I, and we are doing this together. And I'm not the one crafting, but still. I mean, I'm a part of this. We're in this together. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see here, we had that styrofoam. We glued it to the candlestick. We placed this uh, plastic cup, this paper cup, excuse me, right on top of it. And now we're taking this yarn and gluing and swirling, gluing and swirling. That is the best way I can describe it, just wrapping it around and gluing as you go. Um, but honestly, it is really easy to do, and I love this yarn. Honestly, they had such a beautiful assortment of yarn at Hobby Lobby, and even though I can't knit or anything, it makes me want to buy it all for absolutely no reason. Although I'm sure Miss Nancy, aka Mom, would come up with something really great <laughs> for the yarn. It's just a crafter's mind, which all of you have, so I know that you're gonna have a great time doing this. But anyway, isn't this so cool though? It doesn't even, by the time we're done with this, it won't even look like a paper cup. So if you create this in your home and you invite your friends over and then they say, wow, what a beautiful tree, where'd you buy that? You can just, you know, flex and say, oh, I didn't buy this, darling. I made this. <gasps> really? With what? They'll say and then you'll tell them, I made it with a paper cup. Blow them all away, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but anyway, you all, uh, it's very easy to do, so let's just, let's keep going. Okay, so for this part specifically, we all know trees are pointy, they're not flat. So Miss Nancy came up with an ingenious idea to take this piece of cardboard that was nearby and cut it. And then she went ahead and just made it into a cone shape, and it looks like a little birthday hat, you know? And then, or a party hat, and then she just put it right on top of the tree here. And now she's going to go ahead and start uh, adding yarn around it and then on the cone. Because, you know, you want to fill it out a little more before you get to the actual plastic cone looking part. So if you don't know what I mean, well, you can see what I mean. Because sometimes Victoria, which is myself, does not explain things that well. So I'm sorry. I try my best for you all. I really do because I want you all to have a good time and I want you all to do these DIYs. But thankfully, it's called creating with Miss Nancy and not creating with Miss Victoria. Okay. <laughs> okay, so these beautiful puff balls here, uh, they're really soft, by the way. I just love how they feel. They're just so plushy. Uh, and fluffy. We bought these at Hobby Lobby and um, as you can see they came in just a long string of cotton balls and we're gonna go ahead and place them on the tree. And I do want to say that if the cotton balls are just too big for you and you just don't like the way they poke out, you can actually cut them in half. So just place the part that you cut right on top of the tree and glue it on there and it's fine. It looks smaller and that, that'd be cute. Okay, everyone, on to DIY number four. I'm gonna call this one the Christmas frame. Okay, do not do not judge me for the titles, okay? I just, I know it's unoriginal. <laughs> I didn't know what else to call it. Um, but here are the beautiful calendars in Hobby Lobby. Honestly, these are some premium calendars and they are not expensive. As you can see, they're only $10, but they are premium. They have the cardstock paper, um, they just, they're just beautiful. The images and they're bright and glossy. It's just, honestly, here I am raving about calendars, but honestly, it is beautiful. I wanted to buy every calendar, almost every calendar here. I wanted to buy it. I promise you. I really did. So it was really hard to choose which one we wanted to buy, but we ended up buying the Truckin' Along 2023 calendar. Beautiful. And I think we made the right choice. All right, so right here, we're gonna go ahead and cut out the image for December. And this little dog in the photo reminds me of my dog. I miss those puppy days, I really do. But honestly, she's still a baby to me. I don't care, I don't follow all those, you know, 
rules about dog years and stuff and I don't understand it. I really don't. I mean, honestly, my dog turns four. I around I, th I believe it's November the 18th. She turns four years old. So I don't I don't know what y'all mean by dog years. My baby is four. She's still a baby <laughs> and she's still a puppy. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go ahead and once we're done with that uh, beautiful puppy image, we're going to go ahead and cut open our canvas here. So we chose this canvas for the aesthetic, for something different, for something new, because it's just, it looks really great on it. It looks really great on the canvas. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Honestly, I, I can't think of a better background for this. It's just, it's just awesome and I love it. And so once we go ahead and glue that on there, we're going to go ahead and put a bow in the middle. We were, I'm sorry, not in the middle, in the corner. We were thinking about putting the bow in the middle, but we decided that it looked better on the side, you know, because it's cute. And I'm actually going to give this away to a wonderful friend of mine because it's beautiful. And when you make beautiful crafts, honestly, they're meant to share. <laughs> Sharing is caring. And this is it. This is the beautiful photo. Love it. Anyway, you all, I hope you enjoyed today's DIY compilation of four beautiful Christmas DIYs. That not to mention, they are really easy to do, really quick, and really affordable. And if you enjoyed the DIYs that you have seen today, go ahead and subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified every single time Miss Nancy comes out with a new DIY video. So, uh, in order to keep up with that, go ahead and do that, and we will see you all again next time, and until then, Merry Crafty Christmas. Yes, I said it, and I'm not taking it back. <laughs>